So do you want to analyze stock symbols to generate trading signals? In today's workflow automation, I have built something that extracts company related information, stock pricing data, income statements, then balance sheets, and I can further add more of these types of data extraction nodes, pull them all together, use AI to analyze and create a report on top of the stock price, the balance sheet, the income statements. So I can generate complete report, comprehensive reports using this sort of workflow automation. Welcome to day 12 of the 28 day AI automation challenge. And today I'm gonna to show you the stock analysis agent that I'm working on. It is not complete. There is a lot more that I can do. Currently I'm using AI node directly, but I will add some custom nodes, you know, add sentiment analysis and many other different types of analysis to make the report more reliable, more consistent. And do not take this analysis and, you know, use this for uh, uh, making your financial decisions. This is just to showcase what actually is possible with the automations, with AI. So let's uh, get right into it. All right, so today's use case is pretty interesting. I've created a stock analysis agent. Now this is going to analyze stock pricing data, balance sheets, all the company related information, market cap and number of employees, websites, etc. all of those things. And then also looks into balance sheets, income statements to generate trading signals. So what we are doing here is you can see I have the US stock ticker. So currently this is working for US because the data that I'm pulling is from an API which supports only US stocks. So here, all I need to do is simply specify, this is the application interface that I've built. So US stock symbol is NVDA, that is NVIDIA. And I'll pick uh, uh, start date for stock pricing data. Let's pick stock pricing data from 2023, uh, February 1st, okay, cool. 31st of January and uh, let's pick this. Okay, so start date 2023 and end date is 31st January 2025. I will submit and run this flow. Now, while this is running, let's quickly understand what is working under the hood. So this is my complete flow. As you can see, I've got the interface at the top, which is what you are seeing here. Okay, and we've got the analysis, we'll come back to it, but I'm asking for US stock ticker, start date, end date. Now, start date, end date is to capture the stock pricing data. So I am using the stock ticker, start date and end date, I first need to format them. Uh, so currently I am providing the values in a different format, MM, DD and YYY. So I wanted it in this particular format. So I've created an extract data node. I'm using AI to get it into this particular format. So that's just for formatting, but yeah. All right, so let's look at the most important bit. So here, first of all, I have uh, get company data. Now this is a custom node that I've built. Uh, so this is stock prices. I've created four custom nodes to get income statements. This is for balance sheets and this one is company data. So this basically extracts all the company details. Uh, for example, uh, all the stock pricing information, industry it belongs to, the website, number of employees, market cap, all of those things, categories, etc. all those things. So I'll get company data from here. Then I have stock prices. So I'm getting stock prices for uh, the ticker symbol that you have provided. So I've written a custom node. So I've written this code here uh just a second so all of this code to get stock pricing data then uh, logic so all of this data to get uh, income statements these custom nodes are basically leveraging apis that provide this sort of information about a stock ticker so i have get stock prices similarly a custom node for income statements and then balance sheets further these nodes are going to provide data in list so they're going to be multiple like daily stock pricing information in a json format and then income statement is also so i'm uh, basically capturing 10 income statement 10 year uh, 10 annual income statements and then 10 annual balance sheets of uh, the stock ticker and i am again joining the list item turning it into a text so this is json 
obviously you know it does not really make sense to use ai directly on top of json i could add some processing but just for this example this can be enhanced this by no means is you know a very comprehensive analysis no absolutely not this is something that i have uh, you know made to showcase the potential of what you can do i i'll have to further add uh, you know processing uh, right maybe you know more custom nodes to process this type of data uh, in a better format in a better way to extract the right signals to get the right sort of metrics out of raw data and then comment on top of uh, uh, the complete report on the complete data so here there are multiple steps that you can perform right now i have directly used ai node but don't uh, you know uh, think that this is it i have just done this so that you understand what is possible okay cool so here i've provided analyze the stock pricing data uh, like warren buffett would uh, to generate trading signals extract key details to support the analysis okay similarly for analyzing the income statements you can further prompt you know tweak the prompt also and then for balance sheet also i combine all the reports and then finally generate uh, you know a complete analysis which is what you are seeing over here so full analysis conclusion based on the analysis nvidia appears fundamentally strong and poised to uh, poised for growth uh, but given its high valuation and volatility a cautious hold or buy at attractive uh, valuations is recommended so then we have the summary report so business quality and competitive advantage financial health uh, earnings and profitability trends then valuation and uh, price volatility management and governance uh, finally overall investing consideration i will continue to add more nodes here i'll make it like more nuanced more reliable because i'll have to write algorithms to get it to work the way we want and further there's going to be like sentiment analysis what people are talking about so capturing the news angle uh, in this sort of agent is going to be my target here i'll try to create one more video throughout the series to see what is actually possible with the, a potent topic like stock analysis agent uh, so if i get thousand likes on this video uh, i'll share this template this particular workflow automation uh, with all of you all right so i hope you found this useful please give this video a like comment down below how you would want to work with such agent what would you want to add uh, what other types of analysis I should add in this particular workflow and uh, yeah subscribe to the channel there is a lot more you know interesting stuff coming your way that's all I'll see you guys tomorrow